Elvis Presley, big name celebrity, long gone, maybe not. Let's go to Carter County, our own Ardmore Bureau Chief Robin Beal, if I can get that out. He was, uh, he actually talked to Elvis today, not the real Elvis, or was it, Robin? Uh, well, you know, Charlie, he has a 10-piece band. He's a regular in Vegas. He's even been called the foremost Elvis tribute performer in the world. So, no, he's not really Elvis. But on April 23rd, he'll be bringing his whole production here to Ardmore, to the Washington Theater. We wanted to know, how does one person go from being an average Joe to Elvis? One day at the office, I got offered or kind of persuaded to do Elvis at a party uh, for one of the bosses that was a big Elvis fan and... Uh, I said, yeah, I'll do it. I'd love to. You know, I've got to buy my lunch for a month, but I'll do it. And with that, Craig Parker embarked on what would become his new career. This eventually turned into something I couldn't, I couldn't turn away from or I couldn't control. So, uh, you know, as you can see now, it's definitely out of control. <laughs> he looks like Elvis, sounds like Elvis, has legions of female fans just like Elvis. Parker even has his own fan club, and that's not all. He has Elvis Presley's former concert producer, a man named Charles Stone, as his manager. Stone remembers this day 31 years ago, June 26, 1977, a concert in Indianapolis, Indiana. It would be the King's last. The, the show was a normal Elvis show, but what's made it special for me is when Elvis came into the building, Joe came up to me and said, Elvis would like to have $500. Do you have it? Yeah, I got it. I gave him $500. He wrote me a check for $500. That was pressure. Well, I had about $20 left in my pocket after I cashed it. So at the end of the night, I said, well, I'm going to this is the last show of the tour. I have to go to Dallas tomorrow. I better go to the box office and cash this check. Most likely, that was the last check he ever wrote in his life. And I went and cashed it. I'm still kicking myself. And, you know, it was so interesting to hear some of the stories Mr. Stone had about Elvis. I found this one interesting. He said, backstage catering very specific every time for Elvis. Six Cokes, six cups, one bucket of ice. None of this picky about the color of M&Ms or anything like that. Very simple guy. A great guy to work with, obviously, he's missed. And I think I may have misspoke earlier at the top of the broadcast. August 23rd is when Craig Parker will be performing here in Ardmore. Live in the Ardmore newsroom, Robin Beal, First News. The, the fake Elvis and uh, Ardmore on Colonel Tom Parker's birthday. Let's take, speaking of birthdays, let's take a look at who's celebrating today. It is June.